Calvin was right. It was all worth it. The Aurora, born from the ascending purple flame, dances across the heavens, weaving through the stars like threads of ethereal fire. Its violet hues shimmer across Mount Cristo, casting a surreal glow that makes everything feel dreamlike. The pain and sorrow you all felt has burnt away. We found the light. Hell yeah, we did. You're so fucking right. I could stare at this for hours. Same. Me too. Yeah. Oh my. A majestic purple bald eagle flies across the open night sky. They say it is born from the purple flames of the sky lantern. A mountain eagle flew too close to the purple sun. Truly a wondrous sight to behold, huh? I'm getting deja vu again. It's because things feel right. Yeah, things feel like how they used to be. We're so back. You know what that means. I do. Let's do it. Yo, dap me up, dog. That's my guy. Come here, my Sigma. Oh, we're so fucking back. Get your head in the game, dog. Ow, welcome back, Joey. Gosh, everything is so pretty. Yeah, the sky looks amazing. I was talking about you guys. Ooh! But man, you're so right about the sky. Prez Amika stands in silence, soaking in the celestial beauty, taking in the deep sense of wonder and hope that will now accompany them. So where to next? That's a good question. We've got the diamond, but we don't know how to use the gems. And uh, you know what? That's fine because we won't have to fight Kalos powerless and alone. What do you mean? The Regalians and Arzonians, uh, they're scaling the mountain as we speak. They should be up here soon or they might already be here. So we just have to find them now? And we'll regroup. And face Kalos together. Fuck. Shit. We'll beat him. Three words. We'll beat him. The power of these words resonates in your hearts because deep down, you believe it. Even with all the things that have gone wrong, seeing this purple sky and Joey being back, it's enough for me to keep going. Me too. I believe it. I believe in us. So you're really okay now, Joey? You're really back to being you again? I'm back and won't ever be like that again. I missed you, you senile bitch. Yeah, we missed you, bro. Oh, golly fuck, ahoy, I missed all of this so much. Even though you still think everything is a number like some maths nerd, it's good that your brain's healthy again. Speaking of the numbers, maybe we should go back to the temple and explore some more. Could even find some other rooms. I could grab that robot. I could grab some books. I could rip off that robot's arm and use it as a weapon. I could do some more wisdom checks to find secrets. I could beat that robot. Huh. What is it? You see, Joey is looking back at the direction of where the temple is, or was. It should be that way, but you, you can't see it. The fuck? How far did we run down the mountain? I don't know, but the sign is clear. We keep marching forward. Hell yeah. I'm in, but fuck's sake, more walking. Besides, we got what we needed from there. We've got the celestial diamond. Yeah, we do, but why is Obarmin holding it? because you were too scared to grab it yourself. Hey, fuck you, I wasn't scared. I was just being respectful and waiting for consent. Okay. Whatever, I don't want it anymore. Fine, Let I'll me have that. it. What? I don't want it. Okay, Can then I I'll keep it? it. Are you gonna stop talking over me? Whatever. What do you want? Do you want it? Sure. But I want it. Okay, how about we trade? Huh, now we're talking. Give me that sack of gold for the diamond. Are you out of your fucking mind? That's what I thought. Whatever, I didn't want the diamond anyway. I like it. I've got the sapphire and Oberman has the diamond. Whatever, I'll get the ruby when Kalos drops it. Or you can get the emerald. But why? Okay, so, Prez Amika have descended the mountain away from Christonia in search for the Regalians and Arzonians. Which way do you want to go from here? Let's go, uh, this way? Good choice. Guys, I don't want to alarm you. What is it? What happened? But I still haven't named my horse. Oh. I haven't named my wolf either. That dog is so cute, by the way. Like, I want to pet it. I can't summon it until we've had a long, long rest. I want to pet your horse, too. Gross, but okay, I'll summon it. No. You said you can only summon it one more time, so save it. We might need it. True, I can try throwing it off the mountain later. Very helpful, thanks. But is your wolf a wolf or a dog or a fox? The spell says conjure wolf. 
and he howls like a wolf. Don't assume it's species. Shut the fuck up. But yeah, I wonder what I could name it. We used to have a pet wolf man named Greg. He was so cute until he ate the sheriff. Crazy bitch. What if I named it Bo after my old dog? God, I miss him. I miss my whole family. Instead of Bo, how about Yo? Yo? Yo mama. Oh, son of a bitch. Or hey, how about you call him Drone? You can be all like Drone, get him. Or Drone, do an attack. Wouldn't it be funnier if you said Drone, strike? I don't get it. Whatever, you keep droning on about these drone jokes. A yeah, very good wordplay, Barbar. Fuck you, what about my wordplay? You too, dog, keep up the good work. Uh... As Prezamika makes their way down the rugged, uneven path of the mountain, the purple aurora continues to dance overhead, casting the rocks in a magical, soft glow. Each step you take is carefully placed, the harshness of the terrain a constant reminder of the dangers they've overcome. Yet the beauty above keeps their spirits lifted, the celestial display like a guiding light as they descend. Wish we had some wheels. My legs hurt. What if we turned Shabibo into a car and drove him? Yes, and I'll conjure a metal plating shield on him. Oh my God, and I can use my long strider spell to give him a speed boost. Yes, finally some good news. No, you idiots, leave Shabubi alone. Fuck you and your liberal. Suddenly you come across a small, unexpected clearing amidst the otherwise unforgiving landscape. A patch of lush green grass, vibrant and soft underfoot as if the mountain itself is offering you a brief reprieve. The edges of the grassy area are framed by large rocks, offering both shelter and a sense of seclusion. The calm before the storm. We may not have any of the answers we need, but at least we get to touch grass. Maybe it's not about just finding the answers, but about asking the right questions, like how we're all here in separate rooms. I never really questioned this much. Like, what even are these rooms? You mean room? Singular? No, I mean plural. We're in separate rooms. Joey? Everything we feel is basically from within the world, from within the story. That's why we feel pain. That's why your legs get tired, because we're actually moving. What? Like we're in two places at once. What are you nerds talking about? Yeah, come chill with us. It's okay, I don't expect you to hear or understand yet. But trust me, one day you will. And I'll help you get there, I promise. We'll all get there. Ascend higher, awaken, and beat Kalos. Eh, you guys look so cute on the grass. Now what? A deep, echoing blast of a warhorn suddenly cuts through the peaceful stillness, its mournful sound vibrating across the rocky cliffs and echoing up the mountain. You leave the grassy clearing and can see it from a distance. The Regalians and Arzonians have arrived. Oh, fuck yeah. Meet shields. Their numbers are small, but they are here nonetheless. You can see some are being levitated up the cliffs by the gravity magic, whilst others are already at the same level of the mountain as you. Can you hear me now? Oh, shit. Someone's calling me, guys. I'll be right back. What? Where are you going? Oh, his eyes are closed. So he chooses to do that? I thought it was his age making him sleepy. Maybe it's part of his character. Like his cleric class has him close his eyes to talk to his gods or something? I thought he was just a demented, senile, sleepy Joey. Wonder what he's thinking about in there. If it's related to his class, then it must be choir boys. For fuck's sake. It's obvious he just needed a quick nap. Yeah, he's gone through a lot. We all have... If it's related to his class, maybe he's praying to God. What if you prayed to God, but it wasn't God listening? Crazy bitch. Jesus, Ben. Kind of creepy for God to listen to me anyway. He's such a perv. You know, God doesn't have to be a he. Whoa, now we're talking. Are you saying God could be a woman? Yeah, God can be a woman. God can be anything. Gadusi. That, that might be the most blasphemous thing I've ever heard. Thank you, thank you. Um, so where to next? We're gonna go see the army over there. Well, as soon as Joey wakes up. It's incredible. The purple monks actually survived in your story. I know, right? You finally accepted who you are, which means it will be easier for us to talk. I feel like we spoke so much, but I can't remember anything. That's exactly right. 
Throughout your whole journey, I've been trying to communicate with you, help you, guide you, and even though you can't remember most of the things I tell you, some of it does seep through. Right, yeah, I, I sometimes remember things and say things, but I'm never completely sure if they're my memories or someone else's. I can't hear you. Look, I'll keep trying. I already told you these things several times. This info dump won't trigger the right memories for now, but eventually the information will connect and things will become clearer and you'll become stronger from it. How do I defeat Kalos? Hello? The gems, they are good. Great. Realized it wasn't enough. They also needed to scatter the right data too, with the help of artificial guardians. Who? The Christonians, right? What can you tell me about them? Is that the Christonians hide under the radar of Destin's story, trying to integrate into other stories without any interference. And Chosen Awakened will find... Kalos didn't kill the Christonians, and the Christonians didn't leave. What? The truth is, the Christonians were never here, but they sent the gen... Hello? Infinite stories under Destin's story. But how many did the gems reach? Right. The gems aren't really They have a lot more sides than you could. This is the longest we've ever spoke. It's only a matter of time until you wake up and forget it. Well, it was nice meeting you, whoever you are. It is comforting to know that we are not alone in this fight. Are you guys ready? Huh? Who was that? You can hear that too now? Tell me who that was. They, they, they're memories, very old memories of mine, of my past that I'd rather not relive, but maybe seeing them might help you out. Who's that? She looks nice, but who, who are these people? Welcome to Amika. Whose voice was that? And did it say, welcome to Amika? We are Amicans. The rooms are part of Gl Amicans, like Pres Amica? Yes, it is a name you must have remembered from my memories and subconsciously used it for your party without realizing. What the fuck? Are you three ready? Three? Wait, so there's one, two. Who's that other handsome guy with the loot? Uh. Holy fuck. Back then I had a full set of hair. It's been you this whole time in my head. You're him? You're friggin' Joe Barden. <laughs>